president and I would pay top dollar to see the president poop. The second president, John Adams, was the first, and George Washington didn't. The White House flew up Pennsylvania Avenue. George Washington was the first you see. He once chopped down a cherry tree. It's a legend. The number two would be John Adams, and then number three. Tom Jefferson stayed up to write a declaration late at night. So he and his wife had a great big fight, and she made him sleep on the couch all night. Martha did not do that. This is absolutely fake. And they didn't fight. James Madison never had a son. He had a son in true marriage. James Monroe's colossal nose was bigger than Pinocchio. John Quincy Adams was number six, and it's Andrew Jackson's butt he kicks. So Jackson learns to play politics. Next time, he's the one that the country picks. No, that did not happen. Actually, Andrew Jackson won, but technically, the, the Electoral College chose Quincy. Martin Van Buren, number eight, for a one-term shot as chief of state. William Harrison, how do you praise that guy? Was dead in 30 days. John Tyler, he liked country folk. There is no proof for that. President folk. Zachary Taylor liked to smoke his breath, killed friends whenever he spoke. Zachary Taylor never smoked that bad and did not kill his friends. 1850, really nifty Miller Fillmore's in. Technically, Miller Fillmore was an average president, so not nifty, actually. Young and fierce was Franklin Pierce, the man without a chin. He had a chin. Follows next a period spanning four long years with James Buchanan. Then the South starts shooting cannons, and we got a civil war. Franklin Pierce was the one who started the war. Plus, the cannons weren't aimed to be cannon. A war, a war down south in Dixie. Up to bat comes old Abe Lincoln. There's a guy who's really thinking. Kept the United States from shrinking, save the... 16 plus 15 is 31, and there were 34 states. Ship of state from sinking. Andrew Johnson's next. He had some slight defects. Congress each would impeach. And so the country now elects Ulysses Simpson Grant, who would scream and rave and rant. While drinking whiskey, oh, the risky, cause he's it on his pants. True, he liked whiskey, but he never showed it on his pants. It's 1877, and the Democrats would gloat. But they're all amazed when Rutherford Hayes wins by just one vote. And we're all amazed how dumb Yakko is. It was 184 and 85 votes. Not 7 and 8. James Garfield, someone really hated because he was assassinated. Are you basically thinking Garfield was hated just because he was assassinated? Lincoln, Kennedy, and McKinley were great presidents, same as Garfield. The only problem is that they did not agree with Hester Garfield. Hester Alba gets instated, four years later he was traded. Mark Grover, Cleveland, really fat, elected twice as a Democrat. Then Benjamin Harrison, after that, is William McKinley at the... Use your common sense. Grover Cleveland had two non-consecutive terms. Teddy Roosevelt charged up San Juan Hill And President Taft, he got the bill In 1913, Woodrow Wilson takes us into World War I The USA joined World War I in the end of World War I Didn't join Didn't join Didn't join Warren Harding next in line It's Calvin Coolidge, he does fine And then in 1929, the market crashes and we fight It's Herbert Hoover's big day Herbert Hoover wasn't the blame for the market crash It was technically the citizen's fault It's just that he made the economy more worse after the depression and the stock market crash He gets the blame and loses too Franklin Roosevelt, president who helped us win in World War II Harry Truman, weird little human You're weird Serves two terms and when he's done It's Eisenhower who's got the power from 53 to 61 John Kennedy had Camelot, then Lyndon Johnson took his spot Richard Nixon, he gets caught and Gerald Ford fell down a lot Only once, not a lot Jimmy Carter like camping trip That's not important, wacko And Ronald Reagan's speeches scripts all came from famous movie clips He was still an actor, but none of his speeches was from his and movies Next in line was Bill Clinton. He saved the economy during the 90s. Bush came next and saved the terrorists of the 9-11. Then next in line is Obama, the first African-American president. And President Trump loved Twitter. Now in Washington, D.C. That's Democrats and the GOP. But the ones in charge are plain to see. The Biden's drill and Joe. 